it's time to start carving. So you might as well grab your tools, grab some veggies, grab some fruit, and we're gonna sit and carve. So let's go do it. Hello, uh, Chef Ray here. On today's show, we're gonna be doing some different uh, things today with some different vegetables and fruits. Just wanna let you know uh, some of the tools that we're gonna be using today. We're actually gonna be using some different sizes of uh, U and V cutters. Uh, U cutters are called that way because obviously they're a U cutter. Uh, the V cutters obviously because they're a V uh, cut. Um, we're also gonna be using a tie knife. These knives are very flexible, uh, actually made of aluminum very sharp and I'm actually using a Diba knife, uh, blades very thin, also very flexible. And another little contraption which is actually a, a vegetable curler, uh, like a heavy duty razor blade for uh, turning fruits and vegetables just like you would do uh, on a pencil. Uh, again, everything can be done with one knife. These tools just make our job easier. Uh, be very careful uh, when using these because of course both ends are sharp so as you're holding them you want to be very careful that you don't stab yourself so um, safety first um, artistry second so be careful and uh, what do you say well, we take these tools of the trade and we make some magic we're going to uh, do a little whimsical piece and we're going to incorporate some uh, stuff that we did at a previous uh, episode and see if you can uh, recall when we did that. I've actually got a, a yellow squash here, uh, kind of a nice curvature. I've actually cut a little flat piece off and I've actually uh, carved a little beak here. Use our little uh, toothpicks here to make sure that uh, we can attach this accordingly. I actually used two of these so that this won't twist. Um, so we can get it to uh, sit flat. We've got our uh, U-cutter. I guess we should make eyes, shouldn't we? That would be a big help. I'm actually going to take this out and turn it over, and reinsert it, same thing over here. Okay. I'm actually going to uh, uh, take the U-cutter, take this little piece out. I'm actually going to take that piece and turn it over, reinsert it here. Now, for the feathers, I'm actually going to take my V-cutter and actually make the feathers here. We're actually going to cut underneath these with our knife to uh, get them to stand out here. Again, going long along the axis here. Get these to actually stand out here. Now we're gonna take our knife and just cut a thin layer underneath these, just so we can begin to see what we did here. Don't cut too deep, because then the uh, squash will break here. Pop this out a little piece here. Okay. All righty. Let's get that little piece out of there. Okay. Go all the way around here. Get these pieces out. Again, being careful not to cut very deep because then the squash will lose some of its integrity. Again, we can actually go shallow along the surface and then bend our tool in so that we can get more of that natural bend to these so that as they dry, they'll actually curl inward, which means you have to go just barely along the surface before you angle this V cutter in. Takes a little bit of skill, a little practice to uh, get used to, but uh, a couple of times you'll have it down. Okay, now that we've got this piece, I've actually cut uh, two pieces of uh, turnip here. Uh, these are roughly about the thickness of my little finger. What I'm going to do is actually cut the design of the wings here. Needs to come a little 
point here. All right. You kind of round this off as wings are. Round it off a little bit more there. Clean up this side here. Let's see here. I've got two toothpicks here. So we'll stick them on the on the inside here. And this will go on this far side, like so. Now, you have to remember which way the wings are going. So if that was on one side, then the other one has to go the other way. Most people make the mistake of cutting them both the same way, including yours truly. So you want to be careful that you don't do that. I'm going to take our knife here and kind of round this off. Once again, we'll take the two toothpicks here. Again, just putting them in on the side here. Okay. Now this particular piece wanted to break off, so we're going to take the toothpicks out and we're going to try that one more time here. Making sure that they don't show from the other side. Let's see here. One here, one there. Of course, it has to have a tail. I happen to have a few extra toothpicks here. I actually have some rhubarb here. Now, the end of this squash is very hard, so I actually want to make the holes first because the rhubarb will want to break if you try to force it here. So we're going to put one, going to put one there. We're going to grab another one here making sure that you know how far in to push your toothpicks, otherwise they will, in fact, stick through the other side. And again, if this piece broke, we can always take and get a much longer piece of toothpick here. Make this, make that work. I'm gonna do one long one here. Now for this piece, we need something pretty long here. So I think that we can get this to work here. And in this case, I can actually tuck this piece in. It's a very small piece here. Cut a little notch in here and actually tuck it in. So it'll fit between the slices there. And uh, turn this a little bit that way. And, okay, boys and girls, there you go. There's your bird. A little rhubarb, a little bit of turnips, and we're good to go. And uh, there you have it. So uh, hopefully you'll join us next time when we uh, get to uh, show you some other little toys. And uh, just a reminder, if you need tools, books, DVDs, you need to learn, you can go to the website www.chefgarnish.com, located in Torrance, and uh, get your carving fix, if you will, uh, so that you can learn more, get the proper tools, and begin to become the true culinary artist that is inside each and every one of us. So until then, carve on. <laughs>